Hello and welcome to another unboxing. Today, besides the package which I will open, I'll have a few more things to show. But let's start by the package before getting into the other stuff that I already unpacked because there is too much stuff this way. Okay, this is a very big book, this is just one book. It is Ascendant, which is a very good on drive too. too. I think it is fourth place now in top selling. A super powered role playing game. Almost 500 pages. This should probably be better in a hardback. But, oh, okay. Yeah. The paper quality is very nice. For this kind of quality, of course, it's not glossy. It would probably look much better, but it has the advantage of being sturdy. I don't know much about this one. I bought it in PDF, but I didn't read it. Because I found it to be uh, very difficult to read this one in PDF. 500 pages is not easy to read. I found this first pages of mock uh, news and mock wiki pages very interesting. And the, 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 the art is also nice. And uh, Comic, comic style, comic book style, maybe. Yeah, I didn't see this one before. I'll probably do a review for this one in a while, but then, yeah, I have too much stuff now. Okay. Now, Slay Industries. I mentioned this one when I opened the package with the second edition Slay Industries, that this was the one I meant to buy. The Redux, which is pu published in 2016 by Nightfall Games. This is the, the first version in a new... Uh, well, not new now, of course, then it was new. Uh, in a new edition. I'm not sure what are the differences between this one and the second. I've heard bad things about the second, so I wanted to have this one. Because I never got around to play Slay Industries. Which is probably strange. It's the kind of game that interests me, but for a long time I didn't. I decided not to pick it up because I thought that I didn't have the group to play it. I'm not sure if I have the group to play it now, or the time, but I will probably be trying it. The other one that I meant to, to, to buy for a long time and I uh, bought it this January shopping spree on eBay is Over the Edge, also the first version, the first ed edition. Another game that I never got around to play. I never even read it. I, would, I meant to, but then I started writing my own William Burroughs inspired game and I decided I shouldn't pick it up, save it for later, because I could uh, uh, start copying ideas without wanting it. So I think it will be probably the next thing to arrive. Over the edge. Okay, Slay Industries is right. Then we have this one, Conspiracy X. In this case, the second edition. I already played and game mastered the first edition. I like it quite a lot, but there was some problem at that time. I was uh, well, I'm, I was game mastering it. Uh, I th 
think my group disbanded and and then I well I sh stopped game mastering it of course uh, I remember this illustration this was a, was the cover of the first edition um, <coughs> and then I got rid of it because when I stop playing games I usually uh, either give them away or sell them yeah, the art seems to be the same. I remember all these illustrations from first edition. But I was curious about um, the second edition, which has a much nice, nicer cover than the, the first one. And also it's uh, hardback. And this is Agent's Jet Desmond, I think, from Twin Peaks. I don't know. Okay, um, and uh, and now I decided. Well, it, uh, I didn't buy this one when it was still available from the Eden Studios uh, shop. I don't think it is uh, available now. It's still, uh, they are still selling it um, in PDF. But I had to buy these ones on eBay. But they look new. Apparently. Well, these are hardbacks and they aren't that old, so they were printed in 10 years ago, maybe. Perhaps. So, I bought the, the, the core book, the, extra, the extraterrestrial source book, and also the conspiracy source book. That one hasn't arrived yet. There are some changes from the first edition, namely the rules. I liked some of the things in the rules. I liked the the way it handled the the perks character set from their agencies or organizations. But they were a bit clunky. So they were converted to um, to their own system, which is Unisystem. I don't think I well I played it uh, while playing actually. Um, What's it called? The zombie game? I can't remember the name. I don't really remember how the, those rules work, but I think they are easier. So, okay, for today, it's enough. See you around. Bye-bye.